Over a few videos, I've looked at a number of different names for our dance. In this video, what I want to do is compare and contrast them very briefly. Hi, I'm Kashmir, and recently it was pointed out that my video on where did the term bay dance come from didn't actually connect where the term dance de ventre actually came from. And I thought, oh, I'll fix that, I'll make a really short video. And then I thought, well, maybe I could actually compare the others. And it sort of rolled on until I had um, 20 names. So let's have a look at them really quickly. Dance de Bantra is believed to come from the French troops in North Africa in the 19th century. The most likely dancers they would have seen would have been that of the Willard Nail. And that was definitely abdominally based. So the term dance de ventre, dance of the belly, is entirely appropriate. Initially, it was only used for those Berber and North African dancers. By 1850, it had appeared in print, and people were expected to know, one, what it was, and two, that it was indecent. Uh, for example, when describing a different style of dance, this is what they said. They move the abdomen by jerks, and we call, though in a much more decent way, one of the moves of dance de ventre. By 1864, the term had spread to mean any dance, not just Berber or African, but included uh, Egyptian and Turkish. So Jerome's dance of Alma actually was described as a dance de ventre. The term belly dance comes from this and is most commonly associated with the Chicago World Fair of 1893. The Greeks also have a similar term, kalikos horos, but there is some disagreement whether or not this is actually a common term, how long it's been used, or whether it predates or postdates the French and or English term. More commonly, it's known as sheptateli. Now, you may have noticed my Greek is a wee bit uh, faulty, so let's try Maria. Tsifteteli, or tsifteteli, Kelikos Choros. In the 1920s, the term Rok Shaki was coined, Dance of the East. It's usually attributed to Vadia Masadni. And from this, we get the French, Dance Oriental. In Egypt, for the last few decades, professional dancers actually call what we call belly dance, Dance Oriental. And you also get the English translation, Oriental Dance which doesn't mean dance from China or, or Japan, but effectively belly dance, dance oriental. And in Turkey, it's called Oriental Tansi. These terms have different origins. Rak's belody is used in contrast to Rak Shaki. So it didn't exist as a term, a common term, a sensible term, until Rak Shaki existed. Before that, the dance was just plain old rocks. It's also known as rocks Mothri, dance of Egypt. Wind forward to the 1970s, and you'll find that some dancers in the West wanted to dissociate the name belly dance with the dance. So they had to come up with alternative terms. One was Arabic dance, which sort of leaves the Turks out in the cold. In actual fact, most Egyptians are not Arabs and don't want to be called Arabs either. Somebody pointed out to me some time ago that there is a reference to Rock's Arabi in the 19th century uh, in, a, in a playbill. I discussed this with Dr. Mo and he looked at what the whole thing said and the context and he said that basically this was actually some sort of folkloric performance, probably something like Dubka. However, in Iran they do call it Rock's Arabi because you do know that Iranians are not Arabs either, any more than Turks are. Oh, so, some people decided to call it Turkish dance. Well, that's not much better than calling it Arabic dance, is it really? Okay, let's go for Middle Eastern dance, M-E-D. Hmm, this should not be confused with Med dance. I was always confused why Med dance was. Was it no, Middle Eastern dance dance? No, Med dance stands for Mediterranean dance. Then those are, there are those who want to actually go a step further 
and call it Middle Eastern and North African dance, which is fine unless the only reason you're doing it is to add Egypt in there, because Egypt is actually a part of the Middle East, just like Turkey is. We have Andrea Diakon's Sitta, solo, isolated, torso articulated dance, and of course, my own belly rags. I'm afraid it's nothing political. I was just a wee bit slow getting off on the domain names and I missed belly, belly dance as the domain name, so I went for belly rags and it's grown on me over the years. Yeah! Hopefully this helps. And uh, if you want uh, any more detail on some of those, again, down below, I'll actually put the links into the full-length videos.